Let me get back to May 7, 2021, when I was in a long queue, patiently waiting for loading fuel into my car. As I was slowly moving toward the only functioning gas station in my area, I was wondering how one single program can halt the functionality of a supply chain. Yes, you are thinking it right. I am talking about the colonial pipeline attack and my bitter experience with it. This is the incident that motivated me to dive deeper into the ransomware. As I dive deeper, I got to know that ransomware is a malicious software that can spread through malicious email attachments, password breaching, and so on. After entering a computer system, it changes the configuration of your files and system and resists the entire system from functioning. Then, by showing a spin lock message as a left image, the ransomware asks for a ransom that you need to pay by the end of a limited time period to obtain the key to unlock your system. This is what happened in the colonial pipeline attack. So, uh, that sounds like a frustrating game, isn't it? But hold on, don't be so frustrated now. In our research work, we seek for the solution to classify these ransomware families based on their attack behavior so that we can hold the attack at an early stage. In the first step of our three-step solution, we have collected the samples of 11 most dangerous ransomware families. Then by utilizing an advanced analysis tool today, we purposely infected a computer with this ransomware. Then we have observed that each ransomware family has a pattern of making a network connection between the infected computer and the attacker to communicate and to pay the ransom. Again, each ransomware family has a pattern of making a system call or you may say request to open, read, write, and delete the files from our system. We have collected all these behavioral patterns that we call features. In the second step, we have selected the features that are sufficient for a computer program to classify these ransomware families. This computer program is called Deep Neural Network or DNN. In the final step, amazingly enough, our DNN has been successful to classify these ransomware families with 98.59% accuracy. This is it? No. A little earlier than today, this DNN was considered a black box where we used to put some inputs or features and we used to get some outputs or classification results without knowing anything about how it stations <laughs> a decision. In our research work, we have made this deep neural network purely transparent by utilizing an exciting explainability technique called Shapley additive explanation. Thereby, we have got to know which features are contributing the most to classify these ransomware families. Therefore, by resisting these features, the antivirus programmers now can build more robust security systems against the future variants of these ransomware families and keep our lives safe, simple, and hazardous. Thank you.